Anika Calhoun, Grace Bias, was a formidable player in Empire for years, but all her scheming and plotting came back to bite her in the end. First appearing in the Empire pilot, Anika was a debutante from New Orleans, Louisiana, and was dating Lucius Leon, Terence Howard, at the beginning of the series. However, when she discovered Lucius in bed with his ex-wife Cookie, Taraji P. Henson, her love for Lucius turned to hate mixed with obsession. Though Lucius did eventually propose to Anika, she instead took up with his son, Hakim, Brisha Gray. For the rest of Empire, or at least the rest of the time she spent on the show, Anika plotted the downfall of Empire Entertainment, failed at it, plotted again, and failed again, in a constant cycle that made her more and more unlikable throughout the series. Grace Bias' performance of Anika is excellent, of course, and despite how miserable the character becomes, it's hard not to look away from her thanks to Bias' electric and committed acting. Anika Boo Boo Kitty ended up getting what she deserved, but it was a wild ride to get there. Anika dies in the Empire Season 4 finale. Andre drugs Anika at an investor event. In the Season 4 finale of Empire, Episode 18, The Empire Unpossessed, which aired on May 23, 2018, several characters meet their untimely ends, though one's fate is not revealed until the next season. The beginning of Season 4 finds Anika in jail after being framed for the murder of Lucia's half-brother, Tariq Cousins, Morocco Omari. She gets out of prison and gains custody of her and Hakim's daughter, Bella, but she quickly loses it when Hakim threatens to expose her wrongdoing, specifically that she had a hand in Bella's kidnapping. Instead of learning from her time on the inside and dealing with the suffering she's caused, Anika tries once more to bring down the Lions and Empire Entertainment. This time around, she teams up with Eddie Barker, Forrest Whitaker. However, everything unravels for Anika in the season 4 finale. She and Eddie nearly gain control of Empire Entertainment and Anika and Andre, try bias, seemingly call a truce. This is a fake-out on Andre's part, however, and before Anika is set to speak at an investor meeting, Andre slips powdered pills into her drink. As she's speaking, Anika begins feeling a sense of euphoria which quickly dissolves into paranoia when she has hallucinations of the deceased Rhonda, Caitlin Doubleday, stalking after her. In her drug-induced panic, Anika stumbles over a balcony and plummets many floors below, crashing through a glass table in full view of everyone. It's a dramatic end for a dramatic character. Anika's death came at the right time for the show. Anika had completed her character's arc. Anika, Grace Bias, and Rhonda, Caitlin Doubleday, fighting on a balcony in Empire. After four seasons of revenge, failure, and plotting, the end of season four was the right time for Anika to exit the series. Her proximity to the family meant she was always going to have to be close to the story while she lived, but at the same time, as the villain, she would constantly need to be against the lions. While this is a fascinating dynamic for a few seasons, it threatens to get implausible if it goes on for too long. Anika had done some pretty horrible things over the course of Empire, but killing Rhonda Leon, Caitlin Doubleday, and her unborn child to secure Bella's status as the only Leon heir, is probably the most awful. That she had not really been punished for her crime and that Rhonda's husband, Andre, never got his revenge, always meant that Anika's time on the show was short. Her death at the end of season 4 also mirrors Rhonda's as Anika pushed her off a balcony when she killed her. In a way, Anika's death was both Andre and Rhonda's revenge. The meaning of Anika's fate in Empire. Anika's death meant the end of one of the lion's biggest enemies. Anika, Grace Bias, staring at something in Empire. Anika's death is the first to happen to a main character in Empire since Rhonda's, ironic considering Anika's role in that murder. It's a major moment in the series that at one point positioned Anika as a major player in the show. The writing was on the wall with the character, however, and her refusal to back down, even after being humiliated and sent to jail, indicated that there was only ever going to be one way to stop Anika for good.